Hello, CAC, and welcome to day two of this online chapel. I hope that yesterday went well for you. It sounded like everyone got to where they needed to be. Uh, I know that there were just a few kinks for a few people, just getting the right browser or figuring out kind of where to go, and hopefully that all worked itself out, and we are well on our way in this new online learning experience that we're all kind of going through. I want to do three things with you today. First of all, I'd like to share with you a scripture uh, number two, I want to kind of introduce our Together Talks that we're doing on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays where I give you the prompt, and on Thursdays we'll share some of the, the responses from that. And then thirdly, I want to, I want to pray with you uh, as we kind of close our day together. This has all been so strange, right? We're adapting to this 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 new uh, this new normal, this new reality that we're in, and even in two weeks being uh, in 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 our homes. I found that I've taken some things for granted, right? There are some things that I miss about uh, what life kind of was like before. Maybe you're that way. For one, I miss seeing you. I miss seeing your, your faces. I don't, <laughs> this may sound weird, but I would much rather talk to 400 people in person than to my phone. It is, this is not the way I would like to do it. So it, I take for granted uh, the, the time that we spend together. I take for granted seeing you in the hallway and uh, maybe you take for granted the time you spend in, in classes or in the, in, the, in the lunchroom or with your teachers. There's just, there's something that's not the same when we can't be together. And I miss that. I miss walking up and down the hallways and, and seeing the scripture plaques above each uh, doorway of each classroom. When I go into my office, there is a, a scripture plaque above my office that I chose uh, for, to, for me to be able to see when I, when I come into my office. And that's the scripture I want to share with you today. That scripture is Romans chapter 12. So if you have your Bibles, if you want to look that up real quick, Romans chapter 12, verses 10 through 12. And I want to real briefly just kind of break down uh, this scripture that means a lot to me. We actually read this scripture most times when we start chapel at the beginning of the year. And since this feels like the beginning of a new school year, I thought this would be appropriate to share again now. Romans 12, 10 through 12. Paul says this, and each line is kind of its own little mini sermon. And so I want to break it down uh, like that because I think it's so interesting what he says here. He says, be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Stay excited about your faith as you serve the Lord. When you hope, be joyful. When you suffer, be patient. When you pray, be faithful. You notice each one of those lines has something it wants you to do and a way in which you do it. Listen, be devoted to one another. But what Paul says is do that in love. He says honor one another. But how you do that is by putting others above yourself. Stay excited about your faith as you serve the Lord. When you hope, be joyful. When you suffer, be patient. And when you pray, be faithful. Each of those things we are to do, they're practical steps of things that we can try and remember to do, but there's also a way to do them. Oftentimes that way is going to be where it's not putting the, the, the importance or the attention on ourselves. Often it's going to be doing things for others, living life selflessly, not selfishly. But those last three things are what I'm going to focus in on. When you hope, be joyful. When you suffer, be patient. When you pray, be faithful. This, this goes into our together talk that we're going to do this week. This week, there's going to be two questions, two prompts that are going to be available. Uh, and those are on Instagram as well as on this video. So I want you to respond. I want you to, to give us uh, comments uh, through Instagram, or you can email through Google Classroom your responses to these two questions. The first one is, what is difficult. What's tough? What's tough right now? We're going through a lot. Uh, the circumstances are not ideal. So in the last two or three weeks, or, or with what goes on to this new normal, what's hard? What's difficult? What, what's tough about what this is right now? Let's talk about that. Let's, get, let's acknowledge those things that aren't great. 
Okay, let's say them. Let's speak them in these comments and ways. We want to hear from you, from your personal experience, where you are. If you happen to be just truthful, being open and honest, what's tough? What's, what's hard? We know that it's not ideal. I want to say those things, and we're going to share those things together on Thursday uh, based on your comments. I'd like you to answer at least one, but maybe you even feel like you can answer both. I'd love that. So feel free to answer with the, the comments. The first one being, what's difficult? The second one being, what's good? Right? The, the, we want to acknowledge that there also have been some some positive things that have gone on in this in this set of unsettling circumstances. We didn't pick this. We didn't choose this. It's not what we would rather have. But since we're here, maybe there are some good things that we can also share. So I want you to share those in the comments too. When we say what's good, what are the things that maybe have been surprising about this set of circumstances that you maybe didn't expect in the first place? So those are the two together talks that we're going to do for this week. So uh, do those today or comment tomorrow, and then we'll be sharing the answers and results of those on Thursday. Because I think it goes right back to Romans 12, when he says, when you hope, be joyful. When you suffer, be patient, right? There's going to be good things that you look forward to and that you're joyful about. And there's other things that you're going to suffer through that you need to be patient about because it's only temporary, right? Those things that we are suffering are just for now. They won't be forever. So what we do when we go through both the things that we hope for and the things we suffer through is we pray and we do that faithfully. So in closing today, I'd like you to join me in prayer, but I want to do it a little bit different. So don't stop. Don't leave. Don't, don't, don't X out yet. I want you to pray with me. Usually when we close out a, a, our chapel time together, you are going to join your arms around each other. And I love this so much and I miss it seeing you do this. It's such a, a sign of, of unity and how we feel uh, about each other and community and family together. And so though we can't do that together, uh, both because of, of not being able to be in person, uh, but also because it wouldn't be safe. I want you to do something else with me instead. I want you to take your hands. I want you to put them on top of each other. Just hold them here right in front of uh, the screen. I know it seems weird. Just do this with me. Share this time where I want you to just hold your hands out like this as if you are uh, receiving something, right? This is, a, this is a posture in which we are communicating that we are receiving something that we couldn't get on our own. And when we pray, we are asking for that hope that comes joyfully, that, that we want that patience that comes with suffering, that, that when we pray that we are doing so faithfully, we want God to help us to not think so highly of ourselves, but to think of others too. Pray with me. Father, we love you. We trust you. We thank you for this time, that even though this is not what uh, is, is how we usually spend our time together, and this chapel is, is a time where we're usually very close to one another and we feel apart. That It can feel a little bit isolating and a little distant doing things this way. I pray that you would help us. Help us in this time of uh, things that are difficult, times that are, that are tough, the, the experiences that maybe that aren't ideal. Uh, help us in uh, those who are hurting, those who are sick, those who are around us who have experienced loss and are grieving and mourning. And Father, we join them in their prayers as they hurt. Uh, we, we, we suffer with them patiently. We also recognize that there have been some unexpected things through this. And we want to acknowledge those people who are doing good things, those people who are on the front lines and, and, and helping serve through these set of circumstances, that, that there are things even within our homes and our families that we're getting to spend time with each other that maybe we didn't get to spend before, and that there are good things happening uh, even at a time of crisis. Father, we, we praise you. We thank you for every good gift. We know it comes from you. And it's in your son's name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. I love you. I miss you. And we will see you tomorrow. Make sure to go to Instagram or comment on, these, uh, on this Google Classroom your comments and messages for our Together Talk. You are dismissed.